Now this is a story all about how science got flipped, turned right upside down, and we'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, and tell you about how Europe got flipped up in the air. In ancient Europe, post-Renaissance days, scientists started to challenge the old ways. It all started with my homie named Nick. Y'all might know him as Copernicus. He was first to say, yo, the sun was in the middle. The church was like, nah, fam, you need to chill a little. He shared one theory and everyone got scared. So Galileo said, let me put my ideas up there. So then came a homie, Galileo from the street, looked to the sky and said, y'all don't know, yeet. He built a telescope with his bare hands and was like, y'all need to come and check it out, fam. He got excommunicated, got kicked to the curb, but he kept writing fire, couldn't stop his words. So everyone knew we revolved around the sun after he dropped his heat in 1601. It took 30 years to recover from his heat, but science didn't stop, it kept up the beat. Kepler came along and rocked us like the ocean after he discovered the planets in motion. Tell me anything about the scientific revolution. Everybody say science, keep going. Bio, chemistry, math, science. Then came up with the method of science. Pericleseus is medical. Science. Ravenhook got a microscope. Science. Wrinkle mint saw a comet. Science. Thales cut that body for science. Marion was the insect. Science. Newton witnessed gravitational. Science. Oscar won a tie of religion and science. Bull came up with gas all. Science. Cavendish debated all about science. Inductive reasoning using science. 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 I'm a philosopher. Can I still use science? Yes.